Alright everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of the Sunrider Academy demo. We're picking up right where we left off here with Ava, but before we continue, hopefully we got all of our audio issues worked out. It's always something that you gotta get used to here, leveling it out, uh, uh, leveling out audio, excuse me, and whatnot. But before we get back to it, I just wanted to point out, uh, these two in the background. I mentioned that I found them kind of funny in the last, uh, episode, the last video. And the reason I do is because these are Sekai Project games. If that doesn't mean anything to you, excuse me. Sekai Project is the distributor for Sunrider. So this is what we're seeing here is probably the first instance of uh, promotion or advertisement in a visual novel. Again, could be wrong. I'm not exactly the Evian historian around here. But uh, what you see at the bottom there is called the Menagerie. And the Menagerie is a hentai game being developed by Lupasoft and being distributed by Sekai Project. The top one is Fault, which is a Japanese visual novel, which is also being distributed by um, Sekai Project. So, the games may be free, but they're making up with it for the advertising. And, of course, we got another Ice Blade poster, but, again, uh, I enjoy This isn't the best background, but I do enjoy the details in the backgrounds here. Of all the different stores, the sale signs, everything like that. Um, trees look nice too, I think. Uh, <laughs> let's continue. I don't want to say anything else in fear of ruining this good streak we're on, so let's just continue. Hey, Kato. Yeah? <coughs> How does the duty of the student council is to the student body sound for an opener? What's over that overly predictable statement? Uh, I'm sure it's fine. The old geezers in charge of our school don't want anything original in the speech anyway. <laughs> I like that if you just, if you didn't notice it, her eyebrows tilted down just a little to show her displeasure at my statement. And this is something we're going to see repeatedly and execute it very, very well in a scene that's coming up. So, uh, <laughs> I just like those little touches. And especially the, um, just the different details, and you'll see them better in a few different sprites. But the small details that bring out the sprites a little better than they did in the original Sunrider is also a nice touch. Every year it's always the same thing. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> I'm about to get it. You're about to get it now, boy. You're being lazy, and a new term hasn't even started yet. Look, Kato. Every year the student council does nothing but fill out the same paperwork, approve the same events, and make the same speeches. This is our chance to bring change. We're members of the Sunrider Academy Student Council. And all of this should be capitalized, by the way. We have to leave our marks on our school's history. Ah, there she goes again. Whereas my life goal was merely to be a humble student, others are compelled to question the human condition. They think thoughts like, I must rise above the common rabble. What will they remember of me when I'm gone? What of my legacy? Often, these thoughts lead individuals to join the student council and become campus leaders. And then the next thing you know, they get enamored to such notions, so they decide to pursue career in management or politics. And before you know it, people call themselves like president, chairman, and captain. It's as if their names disappear and get replaced with titles. Well, let me just say that I have absolutely no desire for any of that. Alright, Captain Cato Shields, whatever. I have joined the student council, not out of any sense of civic duty or for any desire for prestige, but simply to lobby against our old style uniforms. Seriously, what vestige of the old imperial system forced us to wear these ridiculous clothes? <laughs> so if I'm hearing this right, and I could be wrong, <clears throat> excuse me, and my fellow FMA fans in the audience will understand the reference. But basically, Kato's on the uh, student council because he wants to see tiny mini skirts, or, <laughs> or should I say, tiny mini skirts? <coughs> this is why I can't laugh. Anyway, those of you who know know. Anyway, always too hot during the summer and too cold during the winter. I hear the school on the other side of town upgraded to thermal weave uniforms five years ago. Some schools even permit hollow wear now. 
You? Uh, you're basically walking around naked. You. Clearly there must be some kind of pork preventing us from upgrading our uniforms. Perhaps one of the school officials is close friends with the manager of a wool farm. I walk to school, conjuring in my mind multiple disgusting conspiracies keeping us from the Holloway uniforms. As if the Holloway uniforms weren't disgusting enough. <coughs> okay, so this is a better idea of what I was telling you guys about just the detail in the 3D backgrounds. Just from the leaves here, and you can see, if you look in the background here, where my mouse is pointed at, you see kind of the lights in the background. You see here, you know, the desk and the lights here, kind of lit up and throwing light onto the different levels. That is a really, really nice effect. And even if you look at the top level here, you can see the chalkboard in the background. And the, behind the door, excuse me, not in the background, but behind the door. And I'll point these things out a little bit more as we go on. It's not perfect, but it is a, it, when it comes to 3D artwork, it's a big step up from what we're used to. Before I knew it, we had arrived. <sighs> All right, well... Just make sure you stand up straight behind me while I'm delivering the speech. No problem. I can manage that much. Ava eyed me. What? She inspected my uniform. I'm obviously displeased. You should have ironed your uniform. This is why we need Holloway! <laughs> Ugh. Ava begrudgingly grabbed onto my tie and straightened it. She dusted off my uniform and tried to smooth out the wrinkles. I can't believe you call yourself the vice president looking like this. Excuse me, Prez, but this appearance is merely my strategy to appeal to the common student. Idiot. Uh, well, this is the best I can do. Just stay out of the light, okay? Alright, alright. I stood behind Ava and- Okay, this is one of the better ones. Uh, we'll see some more as we- especially when we get to nighttime. But you can see the individual lockers on each floor. You can see the lighting thrown off the walls here in the background. This is really good stuff, like I said before. And my only regret is that you show a bunch of empty chairs here in the auditorium. When it could have been a CG. And maybe, maybe they'll upgrade it in the full game to a CG, something like that. Where, um, you know, it doesn't show this complete emptiness. And I'm pretty sure I just missed that line, but we're going to keep going. Being in front of the entire student body. I, suddenly I was suddenly filled with the sinking dread that I had left my fly unzipped. No, no, Ava would have, would have zipped the damn thing up herself during the inspection if I had forgotten such a pivotal detail. And already we're talking about the man's crotch. Nice. Hope we can all work together to create a better... But, but what if she forgot to check? She is a girl, after all, so the experience of leaving the fly unzipped would be totally alien for her. Uh, maybe I should just check just in case. No, no. Ava said not to make a fool out of myself in front of the entire student body. The student council will always be there to listen. This should be an option. Check your fly or don't check your fly. This should be an option. I nervously scratched my forehead. What a long-winded speech. With that, on behalf of the entire faculty and staff, I welcome you to Sunrider Academy. The audience politely applauded. Whew. It's over at last. That was Drew with Ava, thoroughly relieved to be off stage. Off the stage. As soon as the opening ceremony was over, it was time for our morning classes. It kind of went off screen there. Since Ava was a fourth year now, she went upstairs while I was on the third year, on the third floor with the rest of the third years. An old-looking teacher introduced himself as Mr. Gray and began our class. <laughs> That's another throwback to the, um, uh, the original Sunrider games where there was an admiral, admiral named Grey that was a pretty important secondary character. But uh, I wish more people would, just slight tangent since we got a little time, I wish more people would borrow from this channel Cradle Song where they had just still artwork of people in the background so it didn't look so empty. This, with this level of detail in the 3D backgrounds, it just looks empty and, you know, you wish there was more there there. Anyway, so we're going through class time. It's lunch time. Where should I eat? Okay, so this is going to be our overworld map. Well, when we finally get control of Kato in the next few days of school time, of world time here in the game, uh, we'll be able to go as we please. But right now we have an option of the court and the cafeteria. 
I like eating outside, so let's go with Courtyard. And I learned this one the hard way the first time around. You can't click the actual title. Let me show you. I want to go to Cafeteria. This is me clicking on the Cafeteria. It's not letting me go. You got to actually click on the space itself. But if, unless you confirm your choice, which is good because if you click on the wrong space or if you're trying to head to a person who's not there, you have a chance to back out. Lunchtime. He is such an idiot looking. Alright. Now. So we've been through the entire school day and I want you guys to take a look up here. It's already been five hours. As the game already explained, we only have ten hours to build staff. And you have to go to class and you have to have uh, a four hour period of sleep. So it doesn't leave us with a lot of time to actually do stuff and you and go to, you know, the actual stat rating parts of the game. So it's definitely looking like it'll be a little bit more strategic than the regular dating sim. Now that the classes were over, it was time for the student council first meeting. Look here, Kato, this just won't do. What? Ava opened a file called Club Reports on her hollow and flipped through page after page of forms. Some of these clubs have not submitted dues or membership reports for years. Ugh. I know the previous president was lazy, but I never imagined it could be this bad. I could feel my eyes glazing over as I looked through paperwork. I threw my hands up. Is it really a big deal? As long as people are having fun, aren't the clubs fulfilling their purpose? I'm about to get it. <laughs> I am about to get it. Ava stared at me incredibly, incredulously. Yep, you know we're about to get it. Ugh, we have to get the clubs into order before anything else. I'm appointing you as the club manager, Kato. Go to the problem club and get their issues resolved. Got it? C club manager? I got slapped with a title already? Oh, hey, you just can't. Can't just. Whatever that says. Ava crossed her arms. Or you could just help me fill out these equipment use forms. A terrifying stack of paperwork sat beside Ava. Okay, okay. I'll go figure out what's wrong. Excuse me. Good. Yeah, this is one of the ones I was talking about earlier. Quickly, uh, just the reflections here of the trash cans. You can see them both. You can see the, how the lightning throws off of the windows and the glass here. And just the smaller details to like what's in the mirrors here at the top of the classrooms, the auditorium at the bottom, the reflections on this side of the glass here at the far end of the hallway. Really, really good, but it still feels really, really empty. So, I like it, and yet, you know, you know where I'm at. I looked through the club reports on my hollow. It seemed like there were three club. <laughs> there were three problem clubs. The Kendo, Science, and Swim Clubs. Looks like I'll be managing the three of them. Tutorial. You can see the club reports on your hub. And we are, we've kind of breezed through this, but this is a more formal kind of deal. Each club has three stats. Member count refers to the number of members in the club. Readiness refers to cur the current ability of the club to perform their activities. Morale rever refers to the happiness of the club members. <coughs> Excuse me. Clubs require readiness to win competitions and bring prestige to the to the school. However, gaining readiness drains morale. If the club's morale is too low, then its performance will be negatively affected. Having more members multiplies the club readiness. However, chances to recruit new members do not come often. Managing each club staff is the key to being a successful club manager. Do your best. Okay, so. Before we go to the Kindle Club and before we end this video, excuse me, let's go back to the club screen because I, I like this part. So basically, well, you'll see this fill out at the end of the first day. But everything is impacted by how you, directly how you manage them. If you're too hard, it'll lower morale, but it'll get them to be ready for a possible event. If you too hard on them for readiness, you have the potential of people leaving the club which will not, it will have the same exact negative effect. So going over to the events calendar, you can see when all of the events are supposed to be scheduled. So the tactical minded, uh, you got swimming here, science exhibition, kendo tournament, all this good stuff. So the tactical among you will have to plan out each club activity, not just for the week, but for the entire month in order to, to balance readiness and morale properly 
At least that's how they're selling it to me. And I like that. That's Again, far more strategic. It feels more like Princess Battles, which I reviewed a year ago. Where it's far more... It, it took the dating sim grind and made it more interesting. Anyway, uh, that's all for this video. We are going to pick right up in the Kindle Club uh, next time. If you like what you see here, hit that like button. You can always see more, of course, on VNSnow.com. And leave a comment if you have any suggestions of other demos or short games I can play. I will see you guys in the next video.